Hi everyone and welcome to Germany for student channel. Today we are going to talk about ISTQB certification automotive software tester. I have done the certification recently and I would like to share my experience with you so that you have all the information that you need in order to complete the certification. This certification belongs to the specialist category that ISTQB has been offering in different domains. And if you complete this certification, you can call yourself as ISTQB certified automotive software tester. So now let's jump in. If you are a student or a professional and you intend to start or excel your career in automotive software testing, then this certification can boost your knowledge. And if you have this certification in your CV, you have very high chances of getting a job in automotive software testing domain. So first let's have a look at the content of this certification. The whole syllabus can be divided into four different parts. The first section is about introduction to automotive software testing. Next section is about the standards for the testing of electric and electronic systems. There are three main standards that are covered within this certification. These are ASPIs, ISO 26262 and AutoZAR. Next section is about the testing in virtual environments. There are three different environments that have been covered in this certification. These are MIL which is model in the loop, SIL, software in the loop, and HIL, hardware in the loop. Last part of the certification is about static and dynamic testing techniques specific to automotive domain. The whole syllabus consists of around 61 pages. Out of these 61 pages, there are approximately 30 pages which are relevant for your exams. So if you learn this content of 30 pages in a good way, it's very likely that you will pass the exam with very good grades. Now each paragraph of this syllabus is assigned to a cognitive level. There are four different learning objectives. The learning objective defines what the trainee should have learned after finishing the corresponding paragraph or a chapter. They are named with K1 to K4. K1 means you just need to remember the information that is provided in any specific paragraph. If a paragraph is labeled with K2, this means that you have to understand this particular paragraph. K3 means that you not only need to understand but you must be in a position to apply the knowledge that is provided in K3. K4 is the last cognitive level. You must be able to analyze any particular situation or a scenario and you must be able to suggest the best possible solution. So it's very important to focus on these four learning objectives while going through the whole content. This will help you to understand how much time you need to spend on each specific paragraph or one particular chapter of this syllabus. Once you have gone through the whole content, next is to check how good you have learned and whether you are ready to take the exam or not. And in order to do this, what we usually do is to check for the mock exams. Now there are a number of websites which are offering mock exams for ISTQB automotive software tester certification but some of these are really scam. Some of the websites have provided 5 to 10 sample questions which looks very similar to the exam questions and in order to get the full access of the whole version of questions these websites ask you to make a certain payment. I have come across one such website which also provided 10 sample questions and they were very similar to the questions that you can expect in the real exam. And in order to access the remaining questions, I was asked to pay around 10 euros, which I did. But when I got the access of the remaining questions, almost 60 to 70 percent of the questions were not related to this certification. So it was only a scam. And when I checked the website in detail, I found that this website did not mention any contact and there was also no information under about us. So you have to be very careful when it comes to the purchasing of mock exams. Once you are ready for the exam, you have two options to take the exam. One option is that you register yourself for ISTQB certification examination for automotive software tester at an authorized test center. And the second option is that you take this exam online. I took the option of online exam. If you intend to take the online exam, whether you can take this online exam or not. And how do you find the authorized center or the online exam option in your area? You have to visit the website of ISTQB 
I have provided the link of this website in the description of this video so you can access this website from the link provided in the description below. If you go to this link you can find an exam provider or you can find a training provider. If you are interested in getting a training you can simply click on this select your country in my case it's Germany language i would like to have the training in english here you simply search for the automotive software tester training and simply click on search and you will find the list of all the institution that are providing training related to automotive software tester certification in this case it's only one attending a training is not mandatory you also have the option to prepare yourself for the examination and register for the exam directly without taking part in the training so how you can do this we go back to the same link and click on find an exam provider country again you select your country language let's say english exam and I simply click on the search and this will provide me a list of all the institutions that are entitled to conduct the exam based on the search criteria that I have provided above. So you can select any of these and then click on go. I took the exam with ISQ IGMBH. If you go to their website, you can check whether they are offering the facility of online examination or not. Now let's look at the exam pattern. This exam consists of 40 MCQs, 40 multiple choice questions. Every question has one point. So the maximum score that you can get is 40 points. In order to pass your certification exam, you must answer 26 questions correct. So the passing points are 26, which correspond to 65%. So the passing score is 65%, which is equal to 26 questions out of 40 questions. There is no negative marking. So if you are not sure about the correct option of any particular question, you can make an intelligent guess. And if it works, you will get a point. If it doesn't work, then you will not lose any point. The duration of this examination is 60 minutes. So you have to solve 40 MCQs in 60 minutes, but there is a bonus 25% extra time if you have selected the examination language other than your native language. So in my case, I got this 25% bonus because I am not native English speaker. So I had 75 minutes for the 40 questions and it really helps you if you have this option to avail bonus time, you can request it. The authority that is responsible for conducting the exam requires a kind of proof which must show that the language that you have selected for the examination is not your native language. ISTQB has provided one sample exam along with its solution that you can access on their website. The link of page from where you can download the sample exam and their solution is also provided in the description below. Let's have a quick look of the sample exam and the questions. So here you can see that the exam consists of 40 questions and every question has one point. Similarly, you can also download the answers of these questions. In the answer key, you can also find that which question has which correct answer to which learning objective it belongs to and what is the cognitive level of this question and number of points of this question. If you scroll further, you will find the answers. Here you will also find the explanation why first option is not correct and why the last option is correct. So it will provide you with the complete information and if you have any doubt, it will be clarified. Because I took the online exam, therefore as soon as I submitted the exam, I got my result which you can also see and I was very happy to pass this exam. This score will not show up on your certificate. Your certificate does not mention how many marks or how many points you have scored in the examination. I hope that this video was helpful for you and if you are preparing your exam, I wish you all the best. If you find the video helpful, please share it also with your friends who are planning to take this certification exam and I wish you all the best for your examination. Thank you. Bye.